does Deneen um, say that you do, um, you know, keep the health insurance going um, during the layoff or the, the furlough period, depending? Um, what does that look like? Is that an out-of-pocket cost? I've heard some talk about a tax credit. Um, how, how should employers um, go about paying for these benefits? Okay, and I actually haven't had many employers do that. I have had one and they actually just added, um, you know, they're just collecting the employee's portion of the premiums mm -hmm. at the time that, the, you know, like at the beginning of the month or every payroll period, even though the employee's not getting paid. Or if you really think that maybe you're going to bring that employee back, it would be the same as like a pregnancy disability leave or any kind of protected leave. They could make up those payments over an agreed upon amount of time. It's from my understanding, it's really an understanding between the employer and the employee. But again, you know, you do have to be careful with those kinds of understandings because we don't really know at this point, are we going to be able to bring everybody back that we had on you know, before this all happened? Are we, you know, how is it going to look? Am I even allowed to have that many employees on site in the beginning? You know, do I have to stagger schedules? Are they not going to be working full time now because they're going to be part time, which takes them out of qualification? So, you know, really it's a case by case situation, you know, determining that.